I hear it cool. It's good. You got your gloves is good? Cold as a mother. Zoom in down that restaurant right there. That we was just up on Panera Bread. We go there every week to get coffee. We don't never cause problems. We was just in there today, about five minutes ago, and they kicked us out because we was talking about black history and black inventors. And they they came up and said, you guys gotta leave. You, your, our associate said you're bothering them. Because we said something uh, positive about a black person. And that's really what we said. Yeah, yeah. You gotta go, you gotta get out of here. So they, they like Denny's. They like they say Denny's is a racist restaurant. But they all racist. Here you go, let me get that script on you. And then they had some big faggot, some big six foot five tall faggot come out like he was going to blow us out. I would have beat his ass and throw a hot coffee in his face. Yeah, I would have throw a hot coffee in his face and kick him in the head with my goddamn boot. I don't really want to hurt somebody, man. But we did something wrong. Shit, we should be able to shoot that shit. Let me get Proverbs on this thing. It was a, a mixed bitch that got mad. Of all people. Yeah. Of all people. See, these motherfuckers, you can say all you want about somebody black, but you call a motherfucker a white woman a nigga? A black person? Oh, nah, nigga. She got bitch. White people special. Bad. Don't you dare say I'm, my white mom is black. Don't you dare say my white mom is black. Hey, how you doing, sweetie? Yeah, she, she's a black woman, too. Look at her. What's she say? I love Jesus. She love Jesus. Hey, she was hot, too. Yeah, she was bad. She was probably talking about the Mexican Jesus. Jesus. Yeah, right. So that bitch right there, watch, she took one look at it. She knew when we went hard. I heard that. Um, she smiled at it. Check, here you go. This is Proverbs 1 and um, 1 and 22. How long, ye simple ones, would ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Yeah, they, they scorn us. They, they get mad at anything we say. And they just curse us out pretty much. They pretty much told us that we was filth and they kicked us out. Pretty much. Turn ye at my reproof, behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you. There it is, they got a problem with us. The only thing I said, I told this girl, I, well first, he told this girl that uh, her mom could her, actually be a black her woman. Her Polish mom. Even though she's from Poland, she could actually still be an Israelite. Right, cause you know them Jews, so-called Jews, they stole part of that Polish history when they was getting oppressed. Yeah, we didn't call her a bitch or a hoe and nothing like that. Talk to her sweet. They was talking real politely. I was like, when I ordered my coffee, I said, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> that don't sound like you. I, I mean, that, exactly. <laughs> I actually said that. I said, thank you, ma'am. And I'll never say that. You know? Right. And then. I'm thinking you got a head cold. The only thing I said after that, because she, tr she tried to say the, the black people weren't really smarter. She actually said that. But I was like, you're crazy. I was like, black people invented uh, street lights. Yeah. Motherfucking red light, green light, that's right. invented by a black man. Yeah. Without that, there'd be wrecks all over the goddamn place. Okay. But that's all I said. And I started uh, naming up a bunch of inventions, you know what I mean, that black people invented. Like the light bulb, the refrigerator. That's what pissed me off. Yeah. And then here come running the security. And then they got mad about, that's actually why they kicked us out. That's a racist one. That racist ass a prejudice motherfucker. Fucking Panero bread. Fuck that place, man. Yeah, we're racist. We're prejudiced. Right. See, we're not prejudiced, but we are racist. You know, everywhere we go, we you know, we going we ain't got no foolish shit on our mind. We ain't gonna sit down and talk about uh uh whatever what's coming up, the Super Bowl or whatever bullshit that's coming up. We ain't gonna the pop bowl. We ain't gonna try to school somebody. Give them a little bit of knowledge, man. What love can it's just some small talk, really. It's all it was. That's all it was. It's talking. You can't talk to nobody no more.
but you know what? It's a, but they got some down here fat and stuff. I went in that bathroom with that Panera bread. It's the most filthiest bathroom I've ever seen in my life. I went in the bathroom. There's some weirdo in there. It looked like he was jacking off. Mm, mm, mm. When I went in there, he's like moving all quick, hurry up, like right, fixing himself. Right. I went and looked at the goddamn toilet. The toilet had shit all, I'm not joking, it had shit, some weird shit all over it. Right. There's some shit plus some other shit. I didn't know what it was. All over the seat. It ain't been cleaned in five. Who knows how long. They look like somebody's having some gay sex back there, shooting up heroin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, did yeah, you go Ocean back there? Campus. It's Ocean did Campus. you go back in that bathroom? Nah, nah, I don't go in these bathrooms no more. I know how they are. And these motherfuckers gotta say something to us. I know it's filthy as fuck. I remember that Wendy's fucking bathroom. Yeah, that Wendy's bathroom. I went there one day, there was shit smeared all over the wall. Mm -hmm. Like they was just finger paint and shit. Yeah. Try some motherfuckers. These motherfuckers be pets, man. Check um, 24. Because I have called, and ye refused. I have stressed out my hand, and no man regarded. Um, but ye have said it not, all my counsel, and with none of my reproof. I mean, that's pretty much why we come out here to have these motherfuckers change their ways. They ain't gonna change. Stop, stop being wicked is all hell. It ain't gonna stop doing shit. Right, they just, right. That's why gonna, I said. They just gonna stay dumb as hell and they gonna die. You're right. That's why I said, and with none of my reproof. They I mean, they, they, I mean, they, they, like the death adder. It goes in one ear and out the other ear. They don't take care of us, but they look forward to calling the police on your ass for you know, I mean, teaching the word or teaching some truth. I mean, here you can't even go in a fucking public restaurant and talk. Like you said, small talk. How? That's some offensive shit right there. We ain't even cursing, no curse words. Right. And here they having gay parades all around this motherfucker. And now, faggots I got, and I shit. Faggots all up in their home. That's all that's Oh, shit. You should get, if you kissing another man in a restaurant, you should get not only kicked out, but you should get beat the fuck up beat and lynched. Get your hands you off the should, fuck If you're a faggot, you should get tied to the back of a pickup truck and drawn down a goddamn street. Right. <laughs> Tie his ass to a trick. <laughs> but then, you know what I'm saying? Tie his ass to a But, but y'all gonna try to judge us, you motherfuckers. Right. And we went in there judging nobody either. They judging us, mm -hmm. you motherfuckers. Yeah. We're gonna die, man. Well, the scriptures does say the world hates me, it hates you. Oh, you yeah, actually had that scripture. Yeah. Oh, that's the spirit. Well, not one of them, but something like <laughs> right, that. Let me read it real quick. Okay. John 7 and 7. The world cannot hate you. <laughs> that's the spirit. <laughs> but me, it hated. <laughs> Because I testify of it. That's right. That the works thereof are evil. So there you go. Wherever we go, I mean, just small talk get us thrown out of places, man. And we ain't use no profanity. Oh. We ain't insult no one. I call, I call that bitch man. I call it a goddamn whore man. Being nice. That's what the whores are being nice. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. That was, that was but you know what? We in good hands then. If they hate the Lord then, and they hate us, then we, I mean, we in good company. Because they know, they probably just know who we are. Right? Of course they do. We've been out here too long, man. Going hard. Fucking Going too hard out this motherfucker. And personally, it makes me feel kind of good getting thrown out for, for nothing. Man, you know, these people, everybody want to preach tolerance. Oh, we got to love faggots. Right. We got to love faggots. We got to love uh, adulterous women. You can, uh, yeah, you can be an atheist, agnostic, Buddhist. Mm -hmm. You can do anything you want except for believing in this Bible. That's right. You get embraced too for believing in that bullshit. If you people, yeah, don't be tolerant of any person on the earth except for a person to believe in the Bible. That's right. Then all of a sudden they got a problem with you. Teaching the Bible in truth, in sincerity, oh, yeah. in sincere. We ain't out here just to look good on camera. Show you, hey, show the book. Hey, man, I got this one for you. You know? Well, a lot of, that's why a lot of y'all do make videos. That's why a lot of them fall out. Yeah, that's why a lot, like, a lot of people are falling out. Like, a lot of people used to come up against us on YouTube. They ain't even around no more. Mm -hmm. They last like one year or something. Like, a lot of them, like, a lot of these Israelites, that they, they, they be down with ISUPK and uh, <laughs> uh, IOG. All, all these other, I don't know the names of all these groups, man. They in the home right now. But you, there's all kind of dudes that came up against us in the past that done disappeared. Totally. And today, yeah, they lasted like a year. Remember the fags years. that was protesting? 
Yeah. We haven't even seen one of them. No, they just came out. Years. We haven't they, even seen. They probably out. died of AIDS. Probably. Remember the trash man? Oh, the trash man. He probably caught AIDS and dropped dead. <laughs> the trash man. I yeah, just used that one. Trash call the trash thing. Remember he was uh. What would you say to somebody? I, 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 I talked to him about it. He said, what you say about my mama? <laughs> he, 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 got a, he looked like he was really about fighting. Yeah, you know what I mean, too, bro. But you know what I mean. Yeah, he, I know, I know. He ain't really about <laughs> I don't Yeah, but we, it, I mean, there's been so many motherfuckers that have been coming up against us, but we don't even see them no more, man. Ain't gone. Ain't nowhere to be found. Like the facts and all the pictures and We used to see them all every week. That's why anybody y'all get in a debate with, don't worry. Because yeah. a year, two years, they gonna be gone. They be like vapor. Yep. Yeah. Cause that's you know the angels saying? dealing with. Them. Hey, you gonna be gone. Yep. Yeah. They just here for a minute and gone the next. Right. Like a puff of smoke. They done, you know just ran out of gas. <laughs> right. Here you go. Um. Said we have we solar power. You know what I'm saying? Solar power. We're yeah. Powered by the light. The yeah. sun. Damn. It. Oh, don't get that twist. Oh, oh, like oh like, y'all worship right, the sun. Right. <laughs> y'all some sun worshippers. The universe. We powered by the universe. And the scripture said that uh, they call us the children of light. You know what I'm saying? Flame on. Yeah, flame on. <laughs> I don't say that around the faggot. Right. Oh, uh, he's oh, a flamer. See, that's why a faggot, a goddamn faggot, would take something cool from Johnny Blaze. You know, not Johnny Blaze, that's Ghost Rider. My brain's all messed up. From Johnny Storm. You heard they making him gay now. Oh, man. Yeah. He's like the most pussy, getting his character in comic yeah. book history. He always was thinking about some pussy. He's always getting some pussy. Always. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But he's a, one of the bad, best characters, Johnny Storm. Yeah. Like, and they take that flame on thing, and, they, and they, now that's a faggot saying. When that used to be a cool ass saying. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. You got any faggots got paid, man. Here you go. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I will up. Oh, you oh, know they, what? When the chairs get here, don't get these motherfuckers in I see no motherfuckers in the chair. They get kicked right off. Uh, yeah. You better get the fuck out of here. I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> I'm a choked them bitches till their right. goddamn eyeballs pop out their motherfucking head. I heard that. There's gonna be no repatriate chair. <laughs> pop their eyes. I'm gonna gouge, put my thumbs in their eyes and pop them out. You know what I'm saying? Right. Here we in Panero Bread. And uh, the best is some five star restaurant and shit. And the we bitch, coming there looking like this. The, yeah, the bitch that kicked us out, she looked like a goddamn lesbian. Yep. Short, short yeah. hair. That bald head. Short, yeah, bald headed bitch. Yeah. That's a clear giveaway a right there. A bald headed bitch, a white bitch. Yeah. A goddamn Edomite. She wasn't no Israelite. Right, clear giveaway. She had no spirit up in her. Clear giveaway. Now, I, I, like I said, I wanted to throw my coffee in her face, man. Yeah, I can't do that. I, I'm not an evil person like that. But one day when the Lord gives us power, we're going to do that. Dude, I can't. I'll go to jail right now if I do that. Oh, it's probably a hate crime. They throw a hate crime on me because I'm a Bible believer. Woo! That'd you know? be hit with federal charges, too. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> federal charges. Yeah. Hate crime, that's federal. I will, okay, uh, but ye have said it not all my counsel, and with none of my reproof, I will also, I will also la will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear comes. Now, have you noticed that, like, the, the time of the faggot, it can only last last so long. People get fed up with you faggots, hey, man. You're for real, all over, man. You be listening to all the talk radio, right? She, like, leaves at the time that she's supposed to be there. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll get it. Do that. Hey, it looks interesting. That's all I can say. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you can go up to the uh, to the ranch the, the, uh, up in Las Vegas. You can buy some midgets. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they say the midgets is one of the most, number one most requested. The, uh -huh. the midgets make more money than everybody. Uh, what kind of weird shit is yeah, that? Right, midgets are fat, uh, big gigantic. Yeah, big giant. 300 midgets. plus pound women, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's always the weird, freaky, bizarre shit that's. That sells more. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's why you get on, that's why the, man, these people out here is foul, they gotta die. Yeah. You get on the internet, you can watch uh, I'm Sex. I, I was reading an article, I was reading an article, I forget what website. But I got this DuckDuckGo app on the Android. It gives you a bunch of news articles every day. Yeah. But I was reading this article and it said, uh, like, uh, the, the aunt, this so-called aunt porn 
is what? some of the hottest porn right now. Ant, aunt, po- auntie porn? Like, motherfuckers fucking their, fucking their. Oh, right. Their aunts, aunts, uncles and shit. Yeah, yeah. fucking their relatives. Oh, my goodness. That's like, that, well, that's like hot right now. That's, that's like crazy popular. Hell, that's in. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because you can watch, they got videos on the internet of motherfuckers ha- okay. having sex with their sister. Yeah, uh, uh, their um, brother. I saw one time um, a mom. It was a uh, mom and son. A mom, uh, it was a, it was a <laughs> yeah, they, that's popular. It was a Hispanic mom and daughter. The mom was actually true stuff. They were eating each other's ass out. Uh, I believe mom and daughter, and they look just alike too. Uh, you can tell but these are pop- but these are popular videos. Mm-hmm. Mom and son. That's popular. Just like Cimarramus and uh, Thomas, you know, I think Thomas is born. They'll have grandma, mom, you know, they'll have the grandma, mom, and the good grandson in the same video. Right. Same shit back so, And stepmom. So, so I guess that's love, and we're supposed to respect people like that, right? Right, right, right. No, those people are supposed to be goddamn put to death. Damn Their right. motherfucking brains are supposed to be splattered on a goddamn sidewalk like a fucking egg. And some of that blood scattered on you. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Just like the Lord, uh, when the scripture, I can't remember what scripture is, when he, he uh, his, his garment was, uh, uh, That's in, a revelation. He's going to press. Yeah, yeah, that's it, that's it. They, they even made a song about that. Uh, one of the most popular songs during the Civil War. It was like, my eyes, uh, how does that go? My eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. You know what I'm talking about? No, no, no. I probably know if y'all hear it, though. I probably know if I hear it, though. He talking about the Lord going to uh, tread the wine press. Wow, that sounds like a good song to me. Let's call. What's the name of that song? Uh, song of the South. Huh? The Song of the South. No, that's that's an Alabama song. Uh, no, nah, man. Alabama. The Song of the Republic. Yeah, no. Battle Hymn of the Republic is what it's called. Who sings it? This is an old traditional song. Oh, oh, spiritual. No, um, oh, um. Abby, so Jake came up with that shit. Right, right, right. They right. talking about the Lord killing motherfuckers. Right. That was the most popular song during the Civil War. Yep. And they got a version of a uh, Whitney Houston singing it real good on YouTube. I gotta check that out. I gotta check that out. Here you go. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, what's that? Cinderella's and uh, Nimrod. Nimrod was Cinderella's son. And they gave oh, birth yeah. to Tom Moose. But they into that shit though. Yeah. Because because these people they into. They into that Egyptian worship. Blow my nose, excuse like me. you go up in these people's houses, they got goddamn ISIS statues. They actually worship ISIS. We got these women, they call themselves wickets. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? They worship uh, ISIS, Inanna, Diana, all, Aphrodite, Athena, all that. Yeah, so, what you say that was? Wickets. wickets? Yeah. Don't you know, actually, the word wicked, like a, you're a wicked bastard, you're no good, wicked. The word wicked comes from the word wicked. You know, they, they share the same they share the same root word. Because the wicked really means wizard, is what it really means. Yeah, yeah. Which really goes back to the word wisdom. But the wisdom on the left hand side. You know what I mean? It's the wicked side, alright. That's what it means. Look that shit up. Look everything up. Anything we tell you is gonna be true. I will. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Okay. So hold up. People try to say that we're evil because we wish death on two thirds of Israel. Hold up. Two thirds wish death on us. They went, yeah, they wish death. They killed the Lord and crucified. Said they had no king to see. cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind a chariot yeah that's a world, a whirlwind yep when you're distressed yeah that's that fire yeah, yeah. that's that fire fire brimstone ain't down in hell that's that's that motherfucking fire either from those missiles or from those chariots that's right bro when distress and anguish cometh upon you then shall they call upon me but I would not answer. The only time y'all care about the Lord is in a time of trouble. Just like in that, you ever seen that movie, The Road? We all seen that shit. That's my shit. Watch that movie, The Road, and notice how that bitch in that movie, uh, what's that dude's name? The main character's wife, 
who left early, she bounced off. Oh her. man. That, she wanted to eat her own child because oh, they ran out of food. Because oh, that movie shows you how weak the woman is. It showed you how weak the man is. And she so, she said everybody else is doing it. Right. Show you how weak the man is. He should have yeah. beat her into right, submission. He should you gonna be right here with us. He should have never let yeah, so he was a fag. Yeah, yeah. But in that, in that movie though, that bitch all of a sudden, since the nukes already hit, this bitch got a stack of Bibles. Now she's trying to get their prophecies. <laughs> it's too late, bitch. <laughs> yeah. So she probably got hate or rape, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. So that's how these bitches are. And all of a sudden when something happened, like I had bitches tell me before that something bad happened to them. And she's like, and that night I was so scared, I slept holding my Bible tightly. I was like, did you read it? No, I just held it. Because <laughs> <laughs> the spirit was in me. Yeah, they do that too. Hold like, the Bible, just hold just it. Just hold the Bible. <laughs> just hold it. You know. But they know they got power all of a sudden, right? Yeah, you know what I'm now saying? Now so they're going to hold the Bible. Hey, 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 the demons come around, man. You know what I do? I go to certain scriptures and read the shit out of them. Calling out the Lord's name, man. Because believe me. Demons come knocking a lot. It may be a punk ass demon, you know, but they come to knocking. Hell yeah. I know scriptures to read immediately. These bitches holding the Bible. That's the same thing as a man. A man, them these motherfuckers know good ass niggas, they hold Bibles too. They don't read it. Or they or they quote um that one scripture um John 3 16. Uh, uh, walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Ezekiel. Ezekiel. Psalms 23. Uh, there's one in Ezekiel. Oh, too. yeah, I know what you're talking uh, about. <laughs> the valley of the dry bones? Yeah. <laughs> yes, they they don't one, know what the hell that's talking about. Remember the one Samuel Jackson was quoting that was in the Oh, that's a Esau scripture. Yeah, Ezekiel yeah. 25. Ezekiel, right. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You know, dumbass motherfuckers. Fuck them, man. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. Well, that don't sound like uh, marshmallows and um, over an open fire, at least. You know? <laughs> so hold up. No, hold up now. <laughs> now, if the Most High is going to fuck you up and kill you and laugh at you, <laughs> yeah, is that is the Most High blaspheming against himself? Yeah, you know what I mean? Because they say we blaspheme when we say, mm -hmm. well, we wish death on Israel, mm -hmm. on two thirds of Israel. We say they say we interpret the scriptures wrong, and that when we went, when we say we wish death on these bitches and these hoes out here, and we faggot, wish death on them. They say that's blasphemy. Well, yeah, I guess the Lord blasphemed himself in the Book of Revelation when he said he's gonna kill y'all motherfuckers and the smoke was gonna send up forever. Ooh, forever ago. I'm gonna get that. Is that 14? Yeah, I think so. I'll go ahead. Revelation 14. I love that. That's a bad scripture. Jeremiah 30 and 23. Behold, the whirlwind of the Lord goes forth mm. with fury, a continuing whirlwind. It shall fall with pain upon the head of the wicked. Woo, how's that for destruction? <laughs> how's that for the Lord coming with cherries and marshmallows? The fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he hath done it That's and it. until he hath performed the intents of his heart. That's right. Just like we out here, we're gonna be out here until we are we completed this job. Now the Lord, when he gets here, he ain't gonna finish until he completes his job. That means complete annihilation. That smoke when it's gonna be ascending up in the sky forever and ever. You know? Uh, yep. That's when he's complete. That's when the job is complete. When Esau was in fucking shackles. Esau and other nations. In the later days. Ye shall consider it. On a later day. You know what I'm saying? In the Bible, <laughs> the, the, the prophesies. In, in the Bible always, not just once or twice, it always, repeatedly, talks about the later days or the last day. Later days. A lot. Over and over. What, what scripture was that? Uh, what number was that? So they can't say they never knew it. <laughs> he repeats it over and over. Yeah, over and over. The Lord's repetitious. Jeremiah, but that's the word I'm looking for. Jeremiah 30 and 24. Oh yeah, Jeremiah 30. Even in the book of uh, uh, Genesis 49, Woo. It, it talks about what's going to happen to Jacob in the later days. Mm. Trouble. You know what I mean? It's all through the Bible. The day of Jacob's trouble. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. 
Jeremiah 30 and 24, the fierce anger of the Lord shall not return until he have done it mm. and until he mm. have performed the mm. intents of his heart. What's the intent of his heart? Fierce anger, destruction, pure destruction, like you was thinking about all fucking day, like we've been thinking about all fucking week. Pure destruction. He's blind. That's all that's on our mind is pure destruction. Every time I look at this wickedness out here, I saw I just prayed to the most high destroy all wickedness. That's man. right. That's right. You got a problem with that, something wrong with your fucking brain, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? So you so y'all must like paying all your money to the government. You must like being a fucking slave. Mm -hmm. You must like eating poison and shit. They're living with uh, in a land with all the rivers are polluted. You go to the goddamn river, it's a toxic dump. You see what happened Ooh, in West Virginia? Goodness. Oh, yeah. They said a second spill happened. <laughs> Shit. Man, they said there was a second spill in the same river. How, how many spills you think already done happened? They ain't told you about. <laughs> they, got, they got away with it. And yeah, some they, shit. Yeah, they yeah, 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 shit yeah, 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 The only yeah, reason yeah. they knew about that is because they can smell it. Yeah. If they weren't as able to smell it, they would have got away with it. Smell it, taste it. You, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah. This shit ain't safe. They said it was a different chemical too that spilled the second time. Oh, so wow. I just read this last night. So all, all the whole earth was spoiled. They, they destroyed the food and all. Y'all need that, man. They're gonna get it too. That's the best cure. That's, that's the only thing. Yeah. That's the only thing. They're gonna get it too. This whole fucking country is falling apart, man. Like this whole roads? fucking country falling apart. You see the roads? Rose is shitty as hell. Goddamn potholes. Fucking you are lining up on your ride, man. You're hitting every right. Potholes. Oh, everywhere. that's probably how you blew your damn tire out. Yes, I'm a sir. giant pothole. Yeah. That oh, tire fuck. was fucked up, man. Shit, he's on some outside. That's usually from the pothole. Man, this hole was big as hell in that tire. <laughs> Looked like someone shot that motherfucker. Fucking wicked son of a bitch. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. So, <laughs> since y'all don't care about the Most High, when that destruction comes, you gonna care. Yeah, but then the Most High, he gonna destroy it. Yeah, I love these creepy, man. Yeah. I love these destruction. Yeah, I'm up for what you said. I was, I was trying to curse that you guys. That's good. Oh, I love it. That's an ugly ass bitch. That's a probably right. bull dagger. Probably bull dagger. Yeah. Hey. Them bull daggers trying to look too. like men. Yeah. yeah. Go ahead with that. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that, they hated knowledge. And like we saw you talking about in Panera. Oh, we, Here, we didn't we, tell that bitch nothing. Something simple, some simple shit. That's like, I went up, yeah. We went up and we was talking about just historical stuff. <laughs> I mean, literally. <laughs> bitch literally hates knowledge. Literally. Hates it. I bet she fucking despises it. I bet she gonna be, she gonna hate getting raped that day too. She gonna, she gonna hate getting raped that day too. She gonna be one of those motherfuckers that she's gonna be leaving. Mm -hmm. Right. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. I got no snack signal. Uh, they don't want me on camera. Got a big old snack signal coming here. <laughs> They would none of my, they would none, excuse me. They would none of my counsel. They despised all of my reproof. Yeah, these motherfuckers despise every last word you tell them, they hate it. Right. If we talk about football to them, they want to, oh, they want to talk about everything. They talk yeah, about buy your, that. Yeah, buy your coffee, right. sit down. Here, you want coffee, man? Come say, talk to me about some chicks with some stats. Goddamn football. Oh, this is funny man. as hell, man. This is just the other day, man. I'm in the gym, man. And these two old clients of mine, two retarded motherfuckers. Now, I mean, literally, two retarded motherfuckers with MRDD. No, Don't you know I'll be having better conversations with these two motherfuckers than I do with people, the normal motherfuckers oh, in the gym, man? I believe you. These motherfuckers, two retarded dudes, be talking about uh, the technology and the phones. One was talking about EMPs, missiles. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm just thinking of myself, though. You right, know? Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? The mo hey, I got a scripture for that. Hey, the scripture said the Lord, uh, he revealed the knowledge under the babes and babe. he hid it from the wise and the prudent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like these people up in the universities, so-called scholars, they ain't got no wisdom or knowledge. All they care about is degrees and uh, diseases, flattering titles and some bullshit. Yeah. They don't actually care. There's only a few people that actually care about that knowledge. They ain't really studying. Yeah, let me get that scripture on now. What you look for? Why is it what you just said? This uh, is another scripture. 
I know where that says. That's Matthew 11. How do we get that? Because people try to say, y'all ain't got no degrees. Y'all don't know nothing. You gotta go to seminary school. What else they say? Like guys, uncle, yeah, like guys, cousin. They came out here. Yeah. Remember them? He came. He went to seminary school. The don't one that know, dropped dead. Don't know a goddamn fellow. He dead now. Yeah, his heart popped. Probably didn't know no Hebrew. Let me get this one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. So he's going with what he was saying. Okay. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes uh, 23 and 19. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men. Oh yeah, that's that's all these people care about. All they care about is flattering titles. They want to give themselves a title to make themselves feel better about oh, themselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. All they care about is degrees, honorary titles, honorary degrees. They don't care about knowledge. Such a man only feareth the eyes of men and knoweth not that the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Yes, uh, so uh, actually, you know, there's a scripture too in Susanna where uh, we were in Susanna. Uh, she said that she would rather, uh, she would rather appear, I'm not just, I, I'm gonna fuck it up. Paraphrase. I'm gonna paraphrase it. And she pretty much said, I'd rather appear to be wicked in the eyes of men than to sin in the eyes of God. Ooh, yeah, Something yeah, like that. that too, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Right, right. I mean, right. We could get it, but it might take right. a day. Right. Mm -hmm. it was on paper. Yeah. So even if you appear, it, 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 the hell with what the people think about it. All like, uh, uh, like William Tyndale. You know, William Tyndale was the dude. The King James Bible is pretty much 80% William Tyndale's Bible. All right. And he, uh, he's the one that gave us the Bible in English. And the Catholic Church burned his ass in the state for it. Wow. Okay? And you know what? He didn't give a fuck. Because he would rather, you know what I'm saying, do the right thing in the sight of the Most High than in the please men. Because he could have got paid off, sold out, did what the church said. You know what I mean? Hey, scoot me on duty, man. Uh, who is that? William Tyndale. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's the dude. He's William Tyndale. The King James Bible is they say it's pretty much 80% of William Tyndale's work. You know what I'm saying? First came out the Great Bible, then you had the Geneva Bible, which uh, later became the King James Bible. Okay. But that's how it tells you that the Catholic Church would kill your ass if you printed a Bible in English, man. And it put you to death. Why would they put you? Because they don't want you to see, read the words. Because the Bible condemns all this wickedness. Because back then, the Catholic Church, that was the ruling government of the entire known world. You know what I mean? And they were probably speaking that, uh, what's that form of English? Um, old English. Old English, old English. Well, about, by that time, it was Middle English by that time. By that time, okay. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, but... That's the whole job, pretty much what you're saying, the elites. Because the, Cat the Catholic Church especially hate the English language, too. They said it was disgusting. Actually, that's another good point too. People get mad that we cuss and say shit and fuck all the time. So what? You are supposed to say words like that using the English language. That, that's how the English language is supposed to be used. Okay? The English language is a dirty language by design. Wow. It's a raw, rough, cursor ass the fuck out language. It's the it's really it's the language of the common people. Okay. You know what I mean? When you look in the history of it. One of the Norman kings, he was black too. He hated English. He said he tried to destroy it. Uh, what was that, Edward II or III? Well, hell, I mean, some of these bullshit words you got to use to, uh, it, it pretty much, uh, <coughs> well, uh, it, it helps you uh, 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 put the, get the word out there. If you want to uh, describe the situation intensely, you got them type of words. Yeah, you got to. You got to. The motherfucking that's a it, that's a real English for your ass. Right, right, right. If you ain't you ain't fully utilizing the language, you got these beautiful, colorful words that you can use. Uh -huh. you know what I'm Why would you be offended by words? <laughs> I just don't get it, man. If y'all if y'all even you can't if you ain't talk like us, you ain't speaking English properly. Personally, I don't think the motherfucker sound interesting if he ain't speaking this way. Bunch of words and all these big words they use, it, they can't tell you what they mean. Like, oh, right. I don't see the 
etymology, no light, no wisdom having motherfuckers. They, they can't tell you no etymology of mm -hmm. any words that they use in all these words like, they're they're using, some, like right. you're some smart genius. Yep, yep. There's some scripture in there too. Oh, okay. foolish ass niggas, man. Oh, foolish motherfuckers, man. Yeah, yeah cause the more and more uh, words I learn, I be watching the way I talk a little more. And I select, I try to select my words a little more carefully. I be fucking up still, you know. The language is a motherfucker. Yeah, it is. It really is. Mm -hmm. so smart. How they say they ever should be pissed the fuck off. Hey. You just, you just went up to the clothes line of fag. Hey. Play bitch. knockout. Yeah, go play knockout. Oh, here it is. I got it. I got it. It's right there. I'm upstairs looking dead at it. I got lost. I put this blood on me. This, this, this hot, this, this cold weather, man, is, it's nothing like it, man. Goddamn beard trolling. Cold, that cold wind make your hands feel like they're burning. Yeah, my yeah, lips are burning. Yeah. It's oh, like the effect. Oh, it's like they're burning. My damn lips are burning. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get this, um, this is Isaiah 3 and 1. Mm -hmm. For behold, the Lord, the Lord of hosts, doth take away from Jerusalem and from Judah the stay and the staff the whole stay of bread and the whole stay of water. The mighty man and the man of war, the judge and the prophet and the prudent and the ancient, the captain of 50 and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artificer and the eloquent or, or eloquent, oh my or goodness. The I'm stuck on stupid because of this code, man. Yeah, that's all these fucking faggots out here. Eloquent, right, right. That code, orator. Eloquent yeah, orator. What, where's that ass? Uh, or, uh, Isaiah 3 and 1. Well, that's at 3 and um, That's 3 and 3. Why can't I can't ever remember that, man. Here you go. Um, the captain of 50 and the honorable man and the counselor and the cunning artificer and the eloquent orator. Yeah, yeah the eloquent. Yeah, that's the first one. Right, oh, Give it a speech. <laughs> That's like all these people out there when they talking, they think they some hot shot, you know what I mean? Right, they they right. gonna use a bunch of big words that makes them smart. Right, right. But you're looking like a jackass. You listen to a man, you like that. You think you know something shut the fuck up. <laughs> you sound like complete snakes. That snake. Yeah, like that's how, snake. That's how a snake talk. Yep. Like a, like, like a politician. A politician is a goddamn snake. Well, like uh, Romans 16 said, uh, fair speeches, they deceive the hearts of many. Yeah, right. <laughs> I bring that out every week. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Yeah. How does it go? Deceive the hearts of the simple. Yeah, deceive the hearts of the simple. Yeah, with fair speeches. Here you go. Uh, yeah, that's that's the person who never uses fat, rough, foul language like us. That's a person you cannot trust. That's right. Keep your eye on that motherfucker. You gotta, yeah, you gotta watch a motherfucker like that. Yep. That's somebody who's ready to kill you. Yep. You know, he's ready to eat your babies and molest your children and all kinds of shit. You gotta put your wallet in your drawers. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be in your pocket. <laughs> shit. Yeah, that's a snake motherfucker, man. Ecclesiastes 27 and 13. The discourse of fools is irksome. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 that talking about fool is irksome makes you want to punch right in the goddamn face. <laughs> like, shut the fuck up, then. Damn! Right. Knock your goddamn teeth out like a cartoon. You, ain't kidding, you ever watch man. a cartoon, they hit your ass in the teeth with a golf club, and, all fall out and it takes a second, though, then it. Hell yeah. <laughs> the discourse of fools is irksome and their sport is in the wantness of sin. Wantness of sin. That's all these people care about. A bunch of faggots. They're on some faggot shit. Oh, check this out. I was watching this video on YouTube yesterday. I tweeted it. You know, if y'all watching the video, our Twitter is, uh, what is it? Kings of the Earth. But I just tweeted this yesterday. There's this black dude. Uh, he wanted to, I'll forget. People watch the video. He was going to, he was a student at a college. I forget what college. But, it, but he had sex with 31 people, or that they know of. The reason they know, that they, he, he uh, videotaped himself having sex with 31 different people. They found the footage on his computer and shit. Okay, this dude had AIDS. Oh, hell, he, he was intentionally doing it. He was, he had motherfucking AIDS. And That's like three years of count. 
Yeah, it's just like that. Uh, Thirty-one that. people. That's a, that's only the ones they had on his camera. Yeah, right, right. And, but you see, he wasn't even fucking women. He was fucking men. Oh Lord have mercy. So being a faggot is going to kill you. Okay. That's right. That's why. That's why the highest, the highest rate of HIV, is in the faggot community. That's right. Only faggots catch and, AIDS. And the black woman. Do you know originally? The, look up your. It's too goddamn cold to get the phones out. But if you look up the original, I forget the exact name. I should have wrote it. I didn't plan this. But the original name of AIDS used to be the gay. It was something the gay disease or something. They, they changed it. Oh shit. Yeah. Right. And the original name was something about something had to do with this gay. Because when he first hit the scene, that's who was gay. Yeah, the yeah, Frank. All I knew was Freddie Mercury dropped dead from AIDS. He was a big faggot. First one I heard was Rock Hudson. Oh, Rock Hudson. Oh, yeah, Liberace. Yep. Yep. Well, hey, this is more than that, wasn't it? Oh, really? Both the map. That same thing happened with that light skinned actress that fine that bitch. She was having sex with a bunch of people with spreading AIDS. And I got that on my favorites on YouTube. That, I was talking about that it. that porno bitch? Or? Nah, she went porn. This is the actress. She was a real actress. actress. I can't remember her name either. I know that pinky actual, bitch. Actual, yeah, that pinky, pinky bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? That, the leader of black women. Yeah. The leader of the black women, pinky. That hey, nasty bitch. Hey, Ella Star. Yeah. All them bitches is true. The age carrying bitches, man. All them nasty ass hoes. So you gotta watch who you fucking, man. You know all them motherfuckers in the porn industry got AIDS. They just spread. So you know some people are just carriers and they just spread it. They can't yeah, actually yeah. get it. Right, right. Some people, that's man, you, that's running rampant all over the porn industry. And they said that disease, that HIV, can lay dormant for years. Yep, yep, yep. Like, like he said, you could be, a, you could just, it can lay dormant, and you could just be a host. You could just be a carrier and just be infecting people yep. while you stay healthy. Yeah, right. And ten years later, you might get to catch the flu, and your immune system get weak, and it just comes out. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You know. And they say that shit. Yeah, up to twenty years that yep. shit could lay dormant. That's crazy, ain't it, man? Up to twenty. Fucking it's designed years, that man. plus there's thirteen different types of the virus. You got damn You know package, what I'm saying? Man. So it ain't just one or two. There's thirteen different types of that fucking virus. So y'all, so y'all can't say that we're wrong. No, we ain't wrong. You're you know, wrong. Right. Motherfucking eight. Look, it's not cool to catch motherfucking AIDS. Hey, okay? check this out. There's scientists that say that's just some form of that's hair down, man. God dang. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be. You can try to be close to him and catch it. You know. You know how motherfucker be talking that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I pray to when you talk that particles coming out your mouth. Right, right, right. Yeah, I pray you know, most of the time. That's DNA. Yeah, that's I don't, DNA. Catch no oh, shit, yeah, that's DNA. Because when you go get a child support thing, a fraternity test, they swab your mouth. Yep, yep. You know what I'm saying? That's that's DNA. You know what I'm saying? The most high creates some viruses for he, your ass. He created some shit for them wicked boy. These wicked motherfuckers. I don't even give a fuck if the government created AIDS in the lab. The most high yeah, put it, it in their heart. Yeah, just, just like that. that. That's right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Just like putting their hearts to make them miss. Like a perfect design. Make them oh, miss. Let's get to the missiles. I was li what was I listening to last night? I was listening to Jeff Fritz with Joe Skousen last night. And this motherfucker said that they was filling up missiles, talking about the missile silos in America. You know, America's actually obeying part of that missile tree, and they filling missile silos up with cement. What? So America's about getting nuked. Hey, they filling some of them up as, uh, they making some of them into homes. They actually <laughs> destroy, yeah. America's, because they act, they actually, America's about to get fucked up, man. Yeah, they really get, are. They're this motherfucker's about to get destroyed, son. Remember how we was listening to that thing right there yeah. that out? They, they been trying to pass what they call the GRID Act and the SHIELD Act. The GRID Act is like, if the U.S. was to get hit with an EMP, electromagnetic pulse, and it was supposed to protect the electrical grid. And they can't get no money to get it passed to protect it, which is only, the dude said, uh, all they need is like $4 billion. And he said, that's just nothing but peanuts to this government. And they still can't get the money. And a SHIELD Act to protect this nation from nuclear missiles. How many billions of dollars did they spend on Iraq? Oh, good God, almost a trillion dollars. But who controls Iraq now? <laughs> Goddamn Al-Qaeda. You're right. That place is at war right now, man. There ain't nothing but a civil war going in Iraq, Libya. What's up, man? Uh, Egypt. This civil man, there's like three new um, riots been popping up in different countries in the last week. So they're gonna it's, it's about to go down, man. It's about to go down. Now, pray to, pray to you how, but Hashem to how shot that it happens this winter. I want to see these goddamn wicked motherfuckers freeze to death, man. I want to see somebody sit, walking. <laughs> sitting hey, down, no, sitting down. You know that, that happens all the time up there in Norway. 
people can get actually from not happen. There's this, I forget his name, but there's a famous heavy metal guitarist. Oh, I can't think of his name, but he, he was walking got frozen to death. I was reading, in, yeah, up in Norway. Wow. I was reading the news last week. They showed a, a polar bear got frozen instant. Not a polar bear. Was it a bear? Not a polar bear. Maybe it was just a bear. But I see the school of fish got in. They, they showed a, a whole, a, it was like a thousand of fish just got instantly frozen. Just frozen. Just frozen to death. Hey, this instant. earth is bad, man. This earth could free, create some heat for you and it'll create some motherfucking freezing for you. Yeah, yeah, because they got, they got some heat in the desert that, that, that <laughs> kill your ass and fry your brain in Instant, an hour. Instantly. Because yeah. I saw a video of you two dudes was in the desert good. cracking eggs on a rock and Oh yeah. Right right there. There. I used to live in the desert. That's crazy. I ain't going out no goddamn. Yeah, we desert. we did shit like that. Actually, we had MREs. Right, right. We used to heat our meals up on a hot rock. We did it all the time. Out in the Mojave Desert. Oh fuck. fuck. Actually, the desert. <laughs> I'd rather be in the desert where there ain't no goddamn people than out in this motherfucker. I'd rather be around coyotes and cacti. Around these motherfuckers. Yeah, <laughs> oh. yeah, they the coyotes. They look raggedy ass coyote, dehydrated ass coyote. Come out there and steal your shit. <laughs> they, man, they steal your back. Quick as hell. They yeah, they, they steal your I can't hold this no more. Huh? Yeah, my uh, hands is froze, man. I, I got you. Go ahead. Down. Every two seconds. I put my Bible. That's down, all good, man. bro. I got you. I had to actually put my Bible down. Man. My hands is froze. <laughs> <laughs> it was crazy. We good. Man, me, but this is this part of bitter in the revelation you talk about that sweet and that bitter this is part of bitter coming out here we love getting out here doing this work but that bitter man we don't i mean this cold ain't this this is some shit to deal with man you know you think you dress warm but shit you end up getting frozen any fucking way yeah if you get your hands get real cold put them in your armpits or in your nuts right right i'm telling you man you get warm the nut sacks the best place that's to put what your hands yeah when you come out here, don't type your shoes too tight. Yeah, yeah so I didn't tie my shit at all. Yeah. I barely tie mine, yeah. Barely tie. Yeah. And my shit, my feet ain't cold at all. Yeah, mine ain't my, my, not right now. I feel it coming on, though. <laughs> yeah, because a, a couple of weeks ago, I did. My, my boots was kind of tight. My toes was frozen. Right. Ooh, shit. That even sound painful. <laughs> yep. That's another tip for y'all watching. Don't be out in the cold. Don't be holding your shit in. If you gotta take a shit, go shit. <laughs> your body would be wasting all that energy to heat up that heat up that shit inside your body. Hey, this is survival tips. Yeah, that's true though. You know what I'm saying? That's true, Burn all that calories just by holding. Yeah, it. get it. Yeah. Let me get this real. Man uh, versus wild, probably teach you that. Oh yeah, and the more you eat too, the more you stay warm. Yep. Burning that fuel. This that's is, fuel. Uh, yep. Ecclesiastes one and eighteen. For much wisdom. It's much grief. Uh, wisdom is grief. Oh, I remember in that movie, The Matrix. You ever watch that movie, The Matrix? That one dude. I love, I love all the Matrix. That one dude said, "Put me back in." Yeah. You know what yeah. Said? He said, "Make me an actor or something." For a steak dinner. I love the Matrix, man, because dude got superpower. He got spiritual power. But what did your boy do to sold out and went back in the Matrix? Yeah. What did he? He said, "Ignorance is bliss." Yep. Woo! <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Steak dinner. Yep. And why he's eating that? It looked delicious too, did it? He said it wasn't even real. Yeah, it wasn't even real. <laughs> but he said ignorance is bliss. Hey, read that again. Ecclesiastes 1 and 18. For in much wisdom is much grief. And he that increaseth knowledge increaseth sorrow. Yeah, you wake up to all this foolishness, man. And once your eyes wake up, man, you, you, I mean, hell, how can you not say something when you see two goddamn faggots kissing in front of you and shit, you know? And we know they spreading AIDS every goddamn where. Right. I just watched the news report said one motherfucking infected at least 31 people. That's fucking crazy. So you ain't going to tell and, me. And multiply how many of them 31 have sex with. And you know these people are promiscuous. It's all fucking hell. 31 people times fucking 20. So you ain't going to tell, yeah. You ain't going to multiply that. So you ain't gonna tell me they, it's okay to be a faggot. It's right, not okay. Right, right. It's something totally fucking wrong with that, man. You know, you wake up to these motherfuckers, you try to have a conversation about fucking somebody's girl, man. And they had the nerve to say that a girl and a wife, somebody's girlfriend and wife ain't the same fucking thing. That's nigga talk. That's yeah, nigga, that's that bullshit. That's yeah, nigga, that's, that's, they, that's they, they do that's say that. That's nigga wisdom, man. Nigga wisdom in the fucking hood, man. That's that confusion. You, you, you wake up to all kind of bullshit. That's man. how we raised, though. Everybody raised like that. They they taught a girlfriend and a wife is two separate things. 
Yeah, I got some for you. And then you know what? I was you get on TV and everybody sit at home and they watch that TMZ shit. Oh, good. And uh, good. you know, all, all them celebrity shows. And all they talk about on all these celebrity shows is who's sleeping with who now. Yeah, yeah and, that's it. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you know, she's got a new boyfriend. She's got a new husband. That's the main Did you topic. see who she had around her arm tonight? Oh, ain't that a bitch. That's not like the talk of these folks. And they just encourage, but it's some Jew motherfuckers, man. They the ones who pushing this shit on TV. Okay? Adultery. And they all going in the, they going in the slavery. That's right. And the permanent servitude. That's right. Okay? That's right. Here you go. They're, they're uh, Ibajim, okay? They're gonna be our servants. Oh, shit. And they're goddamn Goyim, okay? Yeah, That's they're trying to save the Most High. Here, your people are doing all this foolish. They think they can fool the Most High. Right, they out of their mind. They out of their motherfucking mind. <laughs> right. Out of their motherfucking mind. 